Hi, in this video I will use symmetry and radials from repeaters for solitaire diamond ring. Add cylinder from scene menu. Shape it before you validate and add a hole in the middle. When we are done with our settings in the ring, let's validate and subdivide. Press and hold snap cube to lock the rotation. Select tube tool and curve to make a ledge on the ring. Let's add it to the top of the ring with an inclination of 45 degrees. Mirror the tube and do not validate until the settings are finished. I will try to make a slot for the diamond to be placed on the ring. Validate and subdivide. Now add cylinder primitive. Make a hole and put it to the top of our decorated ring. The reset view of the ring is in this way. We need to change that. Now the reset view was like this. We can use radials from repeaters. Select tube tool, curve and by dragging put the tube on the cylinder. Open scene menu and select radials from repeaters. For radial Y tube was formed around cylinder. Using gizmo, let's place the tubes on cylinder. Now we will make the diamond. Add sphere from scene menu. Validate and subdivide. Turn off the views of everything except sphere to work more comfortably. Open symmetry menu and enable symmetry. Give value 8 to radial Y. Choose project tool and open settings. Give value 45 to rotate. Select the line tool, project tool and cut sphere by rotating 45 degree. Unselect symmetry and cut the top. Open all objects view and put the diamond to its place. Unselect symmetry and move with gizmo. What we need to do now is to place the diamond into the slot we created from the tubes and adjust the tubes around it. Validate radials as an instance. Let's draw a texture on the ring using symmetry again. First of all, turn off the views of the parts other than the ring to work comfortably. We'll draw texture using symmetry with the alpha I created, as in my video explaining that you can create your own alpha. Enable symmetry and give value 10 to radial Y. I'll choose this alpha I created. Make tilling X and Y repeat. For stroke type, choose dot. You can see the view in screen project with moving tilling. Select the falloff named 1. Now by dragging your finger make your texture. You can use different alphas for your texture. Let's open the views again and put them in place and combine the same parts with voxel merge. Choose this to part and make voxel merge. Smooth the merged places with smooth tool. Merge the other parts, except diamond. Here we combine what we are going to paint in the same color. Diamond must therefore be separate from all of them. Smooth the merged parts. Open shading menu and select PBR mode and began lightening. With stroke painting, paint the ring silver color. Or paint to gold. Select diamond and go to material menu to use the reflection mode. Let's make the refraction settings here and make it brighter and glassy with paint glossy. To make a good shading, add a plane from the scene menu. Let's increase the size of the plane by the size of the screen view. Thus, when shading, the color difference with the background is eliminated. You can find a suitable lighted area for yourself by adding lights and changing the environment in the shading menu and you can light and shade your object as much as you want. I'll change the ring color to silver and choose pink color for diamond. However, if you choose a yellow dominant environment, the ring turns into golden color. Therefore, your selected environments and lights are very important for your object. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more plays, check out my other videos.